Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome to London King's Cross. Tonight we are staying in the brutalist hotel, uh, The Standard. That was very dramatic, wasn't it? So let's go, let's explore. All right, welcome to our room. It's 8.09, that's the eighth floor. Now then, I am terrible and I am a sucker for a good deal. We actually booked what's called a King of King rooms uh, for, excuse the noise, 260 pounds. It, it's not the cheapest of hotels, but it is very, very nice. Now, the lovely lady on reception said, can I please upgrade you? I'm like, oh, how much? She said, well, normally 110 pound. I said, what kind of room? She said it's a, uh, a junior suite and it's got a balcony. She said, I'll do it for £60 for you. And I'm there. I'm done. I'm in. And it's a nice one. It's really lovely, actually. I think I could probably just live here. So this is an extra huge bed, as you can see. Don't know how comfy it is yet. I'll tell you in the morning, as always. Uh, we've got loads of lovely lights around as well that you can dim. Uh, there is a bathtub in the corner. Of course, I have to try that out later. We've got some bath salts here. Love that noise. You have Bluetooth speakers. We've got a telephone right next to the bed and a drawer. Thank you, Jesus. Reading lights either side of the bed. And we've got another bedside uh, unit and drawer here. No Bible, oh my goodness. And there are plenty of UK sockets, as you can see, European sockets. We've got USB ports as well next to um, the bed. That's very, very convenient. Note pad next to the bed in case you want to write your memoirs. A standard pen that's coming home with me. I know, cheapskate, right? Now, opposite the bed, we have good sized table, a lovely retro 70s chair, Got some complimentary water, should be as well for a suite. Love, look at this seating area, this is so cool. I mean, you literally could have a party in here, couldn't you? Uh, good sized TV over there, although if you are sat here, then quite clearly your head is gonna be against that. Perhaps something of a design flaw, but um, I think we're gonna be okay. Let's zoom in on this bar area up here. This is not complimentary. I need to make you aware of that. I'm going to check out costs later. However, look at this. Look, you can make your own little cocktail, get shaky, shaky. Oh, that looks dodgy, doesn't it? Uh, some of your ice. Oh, look, Patron tequila. Uh, Bombay Sapphire Gin. I'm hoping that's yes. Thank you, Jesus. Grey Goose Vodka. Awesome. And down here, aha. Right, we've got some really nice glasses, actually. I wonder if you can take those home. Sorry, I'm being really cheap skatey. Um, oh, we've got coffee facilities. That's very cool. Look at that. Matthew will have to make one of those in the morning. You have got a kettle there as well. And over here, you have some, uh, I can't even open it. There you go. You have got some nibbles. You've got crisps, uh, Pringles there, M&Ms. Now I'm guessing in here is the mini bar and these items you definitely do have to pay for. Again, we'll have a look at costs later. And next to the bar, we've got some reading materials as well. And we have a balcony in London, in a hotel in London. I don't think I've ever had a balcony in a hotel in London. Can I say that again? A London hotel with a balcony. So you've got a little seating area, somewhere to put your, your little footsies. Uh, table over here. Yes, I know it's winter. It's quite mild, a bit windy. Hello. We've got St. Pancras Hotel over there. And uh, just panning around. A bit grim, I know. <laughs> oh, and I can see over there Waterloo and you've got the London Eye area. Now this is the eighth floor and there are two more floors above us, including the Sweeties Bar. We are gonna check out a little bit later. So come along, I've never been there before. So I'm already imagining what this would be like on a lovely summer's day with the sun hitting your balcony. However, it ain't like that today. Right, let's go and check out the storage space and the bathroom. Okay, so through here, uh, very open plan storage actually, don't mind that at all. We've got two shelves up here. You could use uh, the shelf above as well. We've got some storage space here, four drawers in here, We've got all sorts of products, everything you'd need for a smooth shave, for example. Uh, we've got adapters, we've got a test pack. You can see they come with a cost. That one there is 50 whole dollars, ouch. And down here, another drawer. 
another one here you've got a uh, hairdryer uh, laundry facilities and up here we have oh a safe awesome and uh, next to that we've got another shelf here we have a good length mirror hi everybody and another shelf we've got uh blankets up here oh those are fluffy lots of hanging space actually and all rooms here come with one of these gorgeous little gowns the rooms don't usually come with these uh, plastic coats but i'm assuming they are here because of the balcony and we one would expect so much rain in london obviously and just behind these very trendy plastic coats, oh, that noise, we have a brolly for your pleasure. And look, complimentary sneaker cleaning service. There are some slippers down here as well and um, somewhere else for storage. So in terms of storage space, I think this is good. Okay, so apart from the bath in the bedroom area, there is a good size shower. Let's have a peep inside, see how many people you could get in here. One, two, well, certainly four, probably five at a push. Complimentary products on the wall. Your choice if you want a rain shower or you want to blast yourself or a bit of both actually, why not? Can I say I'm also really pleased to see that you actually turn on the water using the valve here and don't have to go in there and get soaking wet. Uh, out here, we have very good size mirror, really nice uh, contemporary feel to this part actually of the room. Uh, another shelf down here, lots of towels, our sink basin, we've got some more uh, complimentary products here. We've got body lotion and we have soap couple glasses I thought I said pimp and groom then primp and groom you have earplugs now can I just say this reed diffuser the cedar wood is absolutely splendid you can smell it as soon as you walk into the room and just off here to the left is where you have your toilet for your gorgeous little cheeks one each side please thank you very much and there's a dimming light here I think it's good to have this uh, separate from the rest of the room personally. See you later, toilet. Okay, get a tissue ready because this is a little bit eye-watering. These are the uh, prices for the mini bar. Now the 12 pound, I thought, oh, that's not bad for a bottle of um, vodka. No, 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 that's the 50 mil one. Uh, the bottle of vodka is 80 pound. Holy macaroni, there's a supermarket just down off the main road. Go and get your drinks from there. And prices for the snacks, as you can see, Pringles, small Pringles, £3.50. You could get two large uh, tubs for that from the supermarket. Oh God, I know, I know, I know, I know. What am I talking about? You paid all this money to stay in a suite and you're moaning about these. Oh, it's just value, isn't it? Value. And your essentials. Matchsticks, £11. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, lubricant, £10. One thing that really made me laugh when we were checking in, I was being offered the upgrade. The lovely lady on reception said, I knew you were going to take it because your eyes were twinkling <laughs> and sparkling. She said, twinkling and sparkling. Yeah, I'm that obvious. Alrighty, this is a very comfortable bed, by the way. I've got to look forward to having a good night's sleep here. Awesome. Right, it's time to get ready and head to a couple of the uh, on-site bars. Let's get this bathtub filled. I was hoping these would come with instructions like it. How many do you put in? I don't know, I'm just gonna like put all of them in, I suppose. I don't do bath salts. I don't do baths. I normally like a shower. What can I say? Look at this. Oh, yes. Okay, I could definitely get used to this. There are, of course, a range of rooms available at the standard, all coming in at very different prices. It is time to go and explore this awesome hotel. So we've got two corridors here and they're divided by this wall. It's just awesome. It's like some sort of 70s Lego box and I love it. Take me down, goddammit. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is so cool. I love it. All right, ground floor, please. Let's do this. All right, we're on the ground floor. Let's go and check out the reception area. Here is the standard shop. You want to take any bits and bobs home with you? 
and just through here we have our reception, uh, reception area gorgeous loungy area look my reception we've got awesome 70s music going on this is like a, a library lounge area lots of chilling out actually quite a lot of uh, banter going on in here as well by the sounds of it we've got a little coffee shop here this is very cool isn't it though it's just got people chilling having a coffee some people are working another hatch here for the coffee shop very cool and that looks like a, a dj booth in there actually lots of greenage everywhere the isla restaurant on the ground floor serves up breakfast lunch and dinner you can of course add breakfast onto your booking however we chose to eat out there are a lot of very good restaurants in the king's cross area if you have eaten here i'd love to hear from you please drop your comments below and share your experiences with us all and in here we have uh, the double standard bar. And did you know that this is actually the longest bar in the whole of London? It goes on for miles. Let's go, Savvy Blanc. You are mine. A busy night. Wow, it is a Saturday. Cheers, everybody. Alrighty, we are heading to Sweetie's Bar. Oh, distracted before I get to Sweetie's. I bet it would be awesome up here in the sunshine and warmth. Have to come back. Oh yeah, this is as retro as it gets. Look at this tile work. Yellow tiles, awesome. Oh, this is a lovely looking bar. Look at this. Massive windows. Beautiful looking. Oh, this looks fantastic. Okay, I'm in trouble. I've actually gone to Decimo and we're supposed to be going to Sweeties. We're in the wrong bit. But you know, folks, whilst we're here, let's have a peep at the menu. This is certainly a well-reviewed restaurant serving high-end tapas. Oh, and some high-end prices. Okay, we need to go right, not left. So I went left like I was on a plane trying to go drop the class and I should have gone right. Now we're at Sweeties and awesome massive glass windows oh that's nice look oh i like this it's a tiny little narrow bar and it's so cool i love it oh i'm in love with this bar already i think we're the first ones in as well so this is a, a late night bar i think it's open to 3 a.m so i've never seen cocktails quite like these have a read through matthew's gonna get a kiss me i've gone for the real love how interesting do these sound? Oh my God, I'm always gonna come here from now on, every single time, unless those cocktails aren't up to scratch. I'm sure they will be. Look at the views. Oh my God, there's Harry Potter. Look, look, there he goes. Oh, did you catch him? No, no. Matthew's getting upset with me because I'm walking around filming. He's like, will you sit down and will you shut up? All right, let's have a peep down the other end. So this looks like Oh, it does go around the corner as well, actually, a little bit. There you go. Oh, wow. I love it. Absolutely adore this place. Just the best views. And it's so 70s. Not that it was around then, of course. All right, not quite what I expected in terms of the way they look either. Mine looks like a, a chocolate milkshake. Chin chin, Matthew. Happy days. I want to know what Matthew's expression is. It's normally the same. With everything is nice. Like a martini. <laughs> oh, like martini. Very strong. Strong. Cheers. Okay, it's like espresso martini, and it's made with rice milk. I like that. I like it. It's strong. I like strong. Listen, folks. Did you ever own any of those ornaments back in the seventies? For those of you who are alive, not me, obviously. Uh, Matthew's now trying the let's go. I love what looks like just delicate orange wings look Delicate Matthew delicate drink. Oh yummy immediate yummy. That's a good sign isn't it? My turn <laughs> It's like sour fruity strong. Oh the yuzu's coming through 
Actually, I think that's my favorite so far this evening. That's really good. You must come here to Sweden. You must. I've got a, an old fashioned English wine. Thank you. Oh, that's different. So we're talking um, peppery, pear, citrusy. Very interesting, I like it. Oh, look, we've just come back. I'm a bit drunk, I've got to be honest. They've done a turn down. I didn't know they did turn downs here. Thank you so much for closing our blinds and making the bed. Oh, and also, look, folding my comfies. This is what we call flappy bird, by the way. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Very nice sleep. Coffee time. Go on, filter your way down there, please, my babies. Cheers, everybody. Here's to coffee time. Good morning, London town. Lovely day, actually. Maybe winter here, but it's sunny. And it's mild this morning as well. And there you have it, the standard King's Cross London. No doubt about it, this is a hotel we absolutely loved and we will be back. We experienced excellent service, a really lovely spacious room and those bars are top notch with the best London views. But what do you think? Drop your comments below, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram and YouTube.